Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand defining the parameters in IBM iLog Siplex Optimization Studio. Basically, four parameters you will have to define when writing the command line. The first one is decision variables. This represents the quantities that model will determine, that is, the unknowns you want to solve for. Decision variables could be continuous, integer, binary, or mix. In the command line, it is written as DVAR, DVA, objective function. This represents the goal of the optimization model, whether to minimize or maximize a particular function. The example is cost, profit, distance, parameter or input data. These are the constants or input values that are known beforehand and will not change during the optimization process. They define key data like cost, demands, capacities, distances, overhead cost, constraints. They specify the relationships between decision variables and enforce the restrictions or rules that must be added to in the solution. Example, capacity limitations, supply demand balance, logical constraints. Now, the ways in which we can define the variable. The first one is float. Float represents continuous variables, which can take any real value, positive or negative. These are typically used when the decision variable can be fractional and does not have the restriction of being non-negative. Example, in an investment problem where the variables represent profit or loss, and this can be either positive or negative. So example is 100.5, 200.6, and it can also have the negative values. So negative 130.1. So in case of float, fractions are also possible and negative values are also possible. Further, float can be defined as float plus and float minus. Float plus, it represents a non-negative continuous variable, meaning they can take any non-negative real values. These are typically used when you need to model quantities that can be fractional, example, proportions, resources, or production amounts. The example can be in a transportation problem, if you are optimizing how much of a product should be shipped, and it can be fractional, so it is represented by float plus variable. The, con the example is 140.7, 131.5, 122.7. Float minus, it represents a non-positive, just remember the word non-positive uh, continuous variable meaning they can take any non-positive real values that is less than or equal to zero just understand this float minus negative values float plus positive values this type is less common but used when a decision variable must represent a negative quantity example the company is considering investing in a project but the project could lead to a loss. The company wants to minimize the total loss represented by the float minus variable. Example is minus 105.6, minus 110.7, minus 130.5, Boolean. It represents the binary variables that can take only two values, 0 or 1. These are typically used for yes or no decisions such as whether to build a factory, open a store or make a specific investment. Example, in a facility location problem whether you decide where you decide whether to open a new warehouse or not. Integer, it represents an integer variable which can take the whole number values, no fractions, only whole number, positive, negative or zero. These are typically used when the decision variable must represent a count or discrete quantity, such as number of products to produce or employees to hire. Naturally, you cannot have employees in fractions. Example, in a production problem where you decide how many units of products to produce, it cannot be fractional. So, the example is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, 0, 1, 7, 9. Integer plus. It represents a non-negative integer variables, 
meaning they can only take whole number values greater than or equal to 0 that is 0 1 2 these are useful when the quantity to be modeled cannot be negative such as number of workers you want to recruit it cannot be negative and it cannot be fractional so you go for integer plus so the number of workers or machines example in a workforce allocation model where you decide how many workers to assign to a task example 4 8 10 40 the summary of common type of variables float it's a continuous variable with no restriction on sign fractions are also possible positive and negative quantities are also possible so example is profit or loss float plus non-negative it means only positive non-negative continuous variable example production amounts transportation quantities float minus non-positive that is negative negative continuous variable negative values only fractions allowed just remember float f fraction integer general integer variable example number of units produced number of workers so in case of integer fractions not allowed integer plus non-negative integer values example number of products produced boolean binary variables for yes no decisions example to open or not open a warehouse so this was all about how to create how to define the variables in IBM iLog Simplex Optimization Studio. For more videos on IBM iLog Simplex Optimization Studio, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.